And Mr. Murat Organizers called the panel discussion timely in light of popular uprisings in the Mideast, the U.S.'s role in the region, and Turkey's growing prominence as a regional player. Dr. Murat Somer, an associate professor of international relations at Koch University in Istanbul, began by describing Turkey's current political system and its deficits. It has uh, not been able to consolidate what uh, we would call a liberal pluralistic democracy, where uh, there is not only a competitive uh, political system where uh, uh, governments uh, change peacefully as a result of uh, uh, elections, but uh, also a large variety of different uh, rights and freedoms for individuals, uh, minorities, uh, from ethnic minorities uh, to women, uh, the freedom of expression uh, and freedom of thought were not really fully secured. Dr. Joshua Walker, transatlantic fellow at the German Marshall Fund, said the problem is that Turkey has an outdated constitution. And I think that the Turkish constitution that was made in 1982, which replaced a much more liberal constitution before that, the 1961 constitution, it doesn't fit the current republic today. Walker added that currently, political personalities have more power than the constitution in Turkey. So the fact that this party could easily be closed tomorrow by the constitutional court or by a military coup of some sort creates a system in which it's more about personalities and it's about how that person interprets. And the constitution is less important. So today when you have a discussion about the Constitution, it's a very recent and a new phenomenon. Summers said that as Turkey debates rewriting its Constitution, the U.S. Constitution has always been an important reference point for Turkish scholars. For many actors in, in Turkey, when they uh, talk about, discuss the issue of uh, writing a, a new uh, Constitution, um, often the example of the U.S. Constitution uh, used is a positive model, is a positive uh, example. And that's something that uh, Turkey and uh, uh, Turkey can uh, learn from, uh, perhaps. Dr. William Byrne, an expert on the U.S. Constitution at St. John's University, explained why the document framed by America's founding fathers continues to be relevant. For a constitution to work, um, it really has to be at least somewhat internalized in the people. Um, and I think uh, America had a leg up on this in that um, Britain was already a sort of semi-Republican and sort of semi-liberal state. Um, and the colonies, even more so, were sort of semi-Republican and semi-liberal. Walker said America's experience in drafting a constitution holds lessons for Turkey. And if there's going to be a truly successful constitution written in Turkey, it will have to be done by the current party in power and it have to be done by the prime minister. But it cannot be done exclusively by these actors. It has to be done where the Kurds, the Alevis, women, you name it, every segment of society is able to come together. And this is where a partnership like we have between the United States and Turkey is absolutely critical.